how to check if a specific bit in an integer is set. In this video, we will go through a simple solution to this problem and implement it. Let's get started. We have an integer and here we see the bits. In this example, it's an 8-bit integer, but this will also work with 32 bits, 64 bits, etc. signed or unsigned. Each bit is given a label corresponding to its significance. The least significant bit has significant 0, and the most significant bit has significance 7 in this case. We will check if the bit with significance s is set. In this example, s equals 4. The first step is to create a mask. We start with integer 1, where only the least significant bit is set. Then we bit shifted s positions to the left. In this case, it's 4 positions. Now we have a mask with all 0 bits, except for the one we are interested in. The next step is to perform a bitwise AND with the input integer and the mask as operands. From the output, we can tell if bit s is set. Bit s is set if and only if the output is non-zero. In this example, we have a non-zero output, which means that bit 4 is set. What happens if we want to check the bit with significance 2 instead? We change the mask accordingly and perform the bitwise AND. As you can see, the output is 0, so bit 2 is not set. Let's implement the solution as a function. I will be using C++, but this code should be easy to translate to other languages. The function will return a boolean, and I will call it isBitSet. x is the input integer, and s is the significance of the bit we want to check. We start by creating the mask, which will be 1, bit shifted s positions to the left. Next up, we compute the bitwise AND between the integer x and our mask. And we will return true if and only if our result is non-zero. To support other data types than integers, you could create overloads or use a template in C++. Now I will do a quick example to see that this works. We will need the IO stream header and a main function. I will check every bit position in the integer 7, which is 111 in binary. And then we need a loop starting at s equals 31, going all the way down to 0. Inside the loop, we print the result of the isBitSet function with arguments x and s. This code checks every bit in the integer x, starting with the most significant, and for each bit it will either print a 1 or a 0, depending on whether the bit is set or not. So what we should see in the terminal is every bit that's used to represent our integer x. After the loop, we will print a new line and return status code 0. Let's run the code. And there we have it, we get 29 zeros and then 111 as expected. 